Hello, everyone, and welcome to Countryside Japan. In this episode, we'll take you through the next few steps in setting up our garden area and getting some plants in the ground. The first thing we were told to do was get as many bags of this rice husk as we could fit in the car. It's free to take, and we'd be mixing it into the soil to help with drainage while also protecting seedlings from the rain. We gotta get 10 giant bags of this stuff. Uh, it's probably gonna take a couple chips in the car. And then we told uh, Mr. Osao-san that we'd get a couple bags for him. We certainly appreciate having him around teaching us how to do all the all the farming and where to get stuff like this. Like I wouldn't have known to come here and get rice husk to mix into the dirt and it's free and uh, you know all that kind of stuff so that's good. Back to the garden later that day to plant a few rows of snap peas and potatoes. We are meeting up with Sao Sun and we're going to plant a row of snap peas, which is dope. Everybody loves snap peas. Next, we're going to put in a row of lettuce and nira, but first we have to rake out the row and flatten it out. After that's done, we lay out a string line and measure out our spacing for the lettuce plants. We use this same technique to plant our peppers, cabbage, tomatoes, and everything else. We cut a bunch of long elephant grass to lay out over the rows to keep the weeds down and to protect the roots from the hot summer months. I'm gonna cut some elephant grass here. Figured I'd bring you along, show you where I get it. It's all here behind me. We've had a bit of rain as the rainy season has just started and now our veggies are growing fast. So fast that we've actually eaten the broccoli, cabbages and lettuce without having the camera around to film it. Now we've got nira, green onions, bell peppers, eggplants, tomatoes, lettuce, okra, cucumbers, squash, edamame and potatoes. Giant bag of potatoes. Oh, potatoes, maybe. I don't even know. 20 kilos, probably. 20 kilos of potatoes in that bag. I don't know, maybe the same, maybe 20. Yeah, nice. It's been a ton of work getting the garden ready and set up but it's well worth it, as now it's producing food every week for us. A cooler full of cucumbers. In the next episode, we'll look at a small trip I took to Kochi City earlier this year. Hope you enjoyed the update, and we'll see you in the next video.